Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nora Afian. And yeah, I've been gone for a while, as per usual. <laughs> I did want to come and do an Eid makeup look for you guys because I was really excited about this Eid for some reason during the summer. And I had a really good Ramadan. I hope you guys had an amazing Ramadan. And if you guys don't, if you guys aren't Muslim, I hope you got a, had an amazing start to your summer. But yeah, I wanted to sit here and do a makeup look that you guys could use for the summer or for Eid. Let's just get started then. I know you guys want me to do a video talking about like why I've been gone, my battle with depression and anxiety, but that is going, I promise I'm going to be doing that video. I mean, also keep talking about it. I'm just slacking. But yeah, we're going to do that video inshallah next week, hopefully. So... My face is clean. I just got the shower like maybe an hour ago. Um, I don't have any primer on. I was contemplating if I wanted to use primer or not because when I'm deciding if I'm going to use a primer, it all depends on the foundation or the base that I'm going to be wearing. So for this look, I'm going to be using the Chanel CC cream. It's so amazing. It smells heavenly. It smells so good. Unfortunately, I think it's getting discontinued, but I think it's technically getting reformulated that's what i've heard i'm in the shade 30 beige it is a little darker but i like a good tan on my face so yeah um if it just it smooths out your skin it's got an spf 50 i love this product so much i was in the airport on my way to croatia when i discovered it it smells so good i can't even explain it, it just smells so good and because it's a very hydrating product i don't like to put another hydrating base underneath. So for my primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. It's a good basic primer. I'm trying to remember, I haven't used primers in a while. If, I, if any primer that I've been using recently has been this one, the Embryolisse, Le Creme, Concentrate, Sauvage Product. Um, so I'm just gonna use some of this and concentrate it where my pores are very prominent. So like on my nose, right here, try not to get it under my eyes because this feels like it could slip and slide. Don't want that. Don't want that. Just want that thing. Ooh, feels nice. Ooh, feels like so nice, so smooth. All right, then I like to slick down my eyebrows Prep them for brow pencil. I don't know, brow time. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Love this product. This is definitely a holy grail product. So I just brush my brows up. It's kind of like you know how drag queens put glue sticks in their eyebrows? Except I should really try that. I wonder if the clear glue stick would work on me, give me the effect that I want. I wonder how it dries. And when I'm trying to draw my brows in, it just holds them. They're just literally held in place. I've been loving this Tarte brush. You know? This has got this little spatula thing on the back. Then I just place it like so on my face. Like so. I really want to go to the south, Austin. Yeah? yeah? Where? I don't know. I just want to go eat some crawfish. Learn how to talk with the southern accent. Because mine sucks. You know? Okay, normally I never do this blot all over your face BS that everyone does. Just because I typically use uh, mattifying foundations and if you do that it they like start to dry but I can do that with this product because it doesn't start to dry another good dupe for like kind of like this but like it's just not as thick is the NYX total control drop foundation that's a good foundation to wear for like Eid this is like medium coverage you don't want to look too crazy Right, Austin? Austin don't like when I be wearing too much makeups. 
to the prayer. I used to cake period. it on. What do you mean, period? Period. You have a period. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's just so heavenly on the skin. It's just so heavenly. So, just start blending it in. I think I need more lip balm. So this year's Eid, I was heavily, I'm heavily inspired by Coachella, because I had serious FOMO this year. <laughs> so I'm calling this year's Eid Eidchella, so that I can just, you know, feel like I'm, I don't know. Yeah. So it's just Eidchella. That's my inspiration. Okay. So I don't put it under my eyes because it is an emollient product so it will crease. Then I take the handy dandy Beauty Blender. They just came out with this new sapphire color and I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Loves it so much. I think it's my favorite. I kind of want the turquoise one though. but So I just blend out the rest. With my booty blender. So yeah, I was in Ulta maybe like three, four months ago. And I found this. It's called Glitter Gel Glitter Mix. And when I saw this, I thought of Layla. And I thought of Coachella. And I thought, where could Layla wear this to? And that's how I came up with Coachella. So... This year's Eachella, and this is what Layla's wearing for Eid. <laughs> Layla, you need two showers. We'll no, <laughs> you're a mess. You can't say hello. Why? Hmm. Oh. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. So. About some of the products that you guys have been sleeping on I'm convinced you guys are sleeping on it I don't know you could be using them for all I know it is the Maybelline brow precise micro pencil this formula of brow pencil is so amazing it's so creamy so thin so cheap so perfect okay you need to try it I go through like one of these a week seriously you have a problem Awesome! It's the best brow product. What is the like Alcoholics Anonymous version <laughs> of brow pencils? We don't have one, but I'll start one. Um, another good one is the L'Oreal one, but that one's eight ninety nine. This one's six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Okay, I love you, Maybelline. Um, this is the perfect dupe for the Brow Is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, it's like half the price and you get the same amount of product. Do you guys know that in the brow is there's like an inch of product, literally? Like, what? And you're paying $21 for that? No way, no. Um, CoverGirl came out with one as well. It's great, but it's not as pigmented as Maybelline. So yeah, sorry CoverGirl. Maybelline wins this time. So just start outlining the brows. Getting a little thick. She getting a little thick. Got to it down. See how creamy it is? Oh. And then to fill that in, I'm just taking this Sephora Bow Brow Full Brow Effect. It's basically a giant version of that one, but I just do two swipes and it fills it in. So then I'm not using all that product. From the Maybelline one because that one's more expensive. It comes with less product. Then I'm gonna take some concealer and clean up my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I haven't used this in a while. My best friend Medallia is obsessed with it, and that's why I started using it again. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll like it. I don't know. I like the medium shade. The brush that I used is the Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. Yeah. The 
perfect dupe for this is the Morphe M432 brush. Because Morphe's got tons of stores in California now, you know, so. Love this brush. Love this brush so much. So much! Because Sigma be playing me, but Morphe's loyal to me, so. I don't know, this is a no-name brush. I'm pretty sure I got it from Morphe back in the Dizzy. But it's just a fluffy concealer brush. I'm just gonna blend that out. Gonna brush them out. Then I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape and just these on my brow. What do you guys think? I've come a long way with these brows. Oh my god, Austin! You should see how I used to do my eyebrows. <laughs> do you have a video on YouTube still? Oh yeah. You can you put a flashback. You guys can flash back on your own, okay? They can flash back on their own. Okay, this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. This is where my foundation tends to like rub off throughout the makeup application. So I like to conceal a little bit there, just add more coverage. Screenshot. Um, I forgot to put some concealer on my nose because that's where my foundation be rubbing off. So I really need to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on my nose. This is a little full coverage, huh, Asif? Yeah, no kidding. You know, I just don't know how to be laying on. I'm just kidding. No, I like a good skin base for Eid. I like my skin to look flawless, but not like super cakey. I think it looks fine, Asif. It's not that bad. Asif? It's not that bad. So now, I've been contouring my nose using my favorite Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation Stick. It's cool because it's got um, a foundation on one side and a soft contour shade on the other side. And it's just the perfect contour shade. The foundations, the contour stick and the foundation, super creamy. So I love it. Um, but it's it's just the perfect shade for me. I'm going to take the Morphe E47 brush. Morphe E47 brush. Then I take this and I draw two lines down the center of my nose. Like so. Like so. I just keep adding more product. Okay. You want to look like a reindeer. Then I take this Luxie 207 medium angled shading brush and I start to blend that out. Okay. Okay. Look how creamy this product is. Then I take the beauty blender that just has the foundation from earlier and then you hit it from the top. Okay, so then you take the same brush and you just keep building. Make lots of faces. Because if you don't make faces, you're not doing it right. And if you feel like you made it too dark, like I probably did, just take a little bit of concealer. Okay. Then you take the booty blender. Okay, I'm turning into Miranda. This is not what that was supposed. That was not what was supposed to happen. Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, Holy Grail powder. Love this stuff. Love, 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 love. love. If you want a good dupe, this is 
just as good. It is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. So amazing. So good. So good. So good. So good. Okay. Probably mix the two today. Why not? It's literally, it's that good. Okay, I'm just going to take another beauty blender. It's damp. Can't get it on. Blend out all the concealer because I don't want to be setting any chunks of concealer that have creased. Okay. And then I go down the side of my nose to snatch it some more. Because why not? So I still get a ton of questions like why do I bake with powder? I bake because I feel like it makes my under eyes look super smooth. I feel like if you put a ton of powder on your fine lines, it kind of fills it in and just like gives the illusion of smooth. So that's why I do what I do. Then I take a Morphe M164 brush. Go down the center of my nose to set that light area. Smaller brush. Just make a dot on your nose. Because why not? Who doesn't want a dot on their nose? Okay, now we move on to the eyeshadow. So for this look, I want it to be really kind of simple on the eyes. Bronzy. Really pretty. Really pretty. Okay. So for my crease color, I'm going to be using a shade from the KKW X Mario palette. I had to get this because the blue, I mean, duh, there's no way everyone else bought it. But honestly, really love this palette. I'm just not crazy about some of the shimmer shades because they're kind of flaky, but it's okay. It's really pretty. And yeah, I got it. So I'm going to take this color. You can use any matte bronzy color for this look. I'm trying to make this look as easy for anyone as possible. You don't need this palette, obviously. Uh, you could use a bronzer in the crease. I'm just, this is what I'm going to use. So, you use what you have. And then I'm going to take a Morphe M518 brush. Love Morphe. Like I did with my under eyes, I'm going to blend out the creases. Make a soft crease lid. I don't like to set my eyes with a translucent powder before my eyeshadow because I just feel like it adheres better and it really grabs the eyeshadow and the pigment. Then just blend the edges out. Same brush. You want it to be as seamless as possible. Oh. Then I'm going to take a bronzy shade. It's probably my favorite palette of all time the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette I love it I love the packaging because it's cardboard I love a cardboard palette it doesn't break when you travel it's more durable There's so many different colors anyone that talks bad about this palette is stupid they don't know how to use it I don't think do people talk shit about it some people People just talk bad. I feel like I feel like people will kind of dog Morphe a little bit. It's the brand. They're so affordable. Their products are good. I don't I don't get why I don't get money for them. I don't get I'm like I'm not an affiliate or whatever. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and take this shade and put that on the lid. I've been kind of loving not having super long nails because I feel like. My shimmer shadows look amazing now. What I use my finger. Oh, I'm burning. So pretty. Then I'm gonna take this MAC brush. It's a 217. This was like one of my first MAC brushes. Just concentrate that on the eye socket. You're not doing any cut creases, none of that. Who has time to wake up at like 3 o'clock in the morning before the eat prayer to do a cut crease? Look how foiled and pretty it looks. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. You can be messy with it. And it'll still turn out good. So 
So that's the eye look. Just to brighten that up a little bit more in the center, I'm gonna take a gold. I'm gonna take Whisper of Guilt highlighter by MAC. Any gold, any bright gold will do and just tap that in the center. And then I'll just really brighten it up. See? It's just like the quickest halo eye. I'm trying to be efficient this year. Eachella! <laughs> then I'm going to take this tapered brush and get rid of all that powder. I feel like the biggest reason like why a lot of people don't bake like so heavily like this is because they say it makes their under eyes really dry. After you spray it at the end, they come back to life, so don't be afraid of baking. Then I'm going to line my top lash line. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite eyeliner. I've been loving Maybelline products. Obviously, this is not sponsored. Wish it was. But it's not. Anyways, bought it like a month or two ago. And I haven't used anything else really since. So this is the Maybelline uh, Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. It's bigger. I've obviously used it. It's like maybe that bigger. I don't know. But um, in the shade Glazed Toffee. It's just like a matte brown. Really nice creamy still have a little bit of time to smudge it out but after that it like dries down so i'm just gonna line do a little thin line and then i smudge it out with a c212 chisel detail this is from crown brush so once it dries i'll probably do another layer on top just to make it more opaque Then, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. Recently, I've been loving this combo. This is the Total Temptation Mascara by Maybelline. I got this at Ipsy's Gem Beauty in the Ipsy bag, Ipsy Creator bag. And then, um, just my Holy Grail L'Oreal Telescopic. So first, I just go crazy with this one. I wanted to use as much drugstore as possible in this video and moving forward as much as I can because not everybody wants to shell out a lot of money for makeup or that can. And all the products that I used, like, I would have used more higher end stuff if it worked better, but these work just fine. Then I take L'Oreal Telescopic, just comb that out. So because I love this mascara so much, I ended up buying this one because I just like to try out different like brush heads. It's the Falsies Volume Express and I like it. It's nice and flimsy and soft so it really gives you volume. So they're both really good. And I'm sorry if this makeup look is kind of like everybody else's looks. Like, everybody does like a bronzy, smoky eye on YouTube. But I felt like this was different. It's quick. And you can use your fingers. You don't need a ton of brushes. And yeah, it's not super extra. So, that's that. To let that dry, I'm going to go in with some lashes. So this is obviously very optional. But I like a good lash, especially on Eid. I just feel like it opens up my eyes more because I do have straight lashes even when I curl them. They don't stay curled all day. So now I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Lash Glue, Holy Grail Lash Glue. So these are the Ardell lashes in the number 120 or Demi Wispies are basically the same thing. I got these out Wally World. Walla 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 World. These are my favorite lash tweezers. They are by Velour. Um, still make them but they're just a little different they're gold now so I go in with my right eye first you know cuz that's like so 
So I just do a really thin line of Huda Beauty lash glue. It's the dark glue. Unfortunately, she doesn't make a clear one yet. I'll be waiting for that, Miss Huda. If you don't get it quite next to the lash line, you will see that black. And then I tilt my mirror up like this. And then I go in. So I touch the middle first, and then I do the corners. And then I clamp the two together. So that my natural lashes stick to the falsies and they look seamless. Then I go in with the other lash. So Huda Beauty lash glue dries really fast, so sometimes the corners of my eyes lift because I haven't adhered it quick enough, so I just take this little hijab pin and put a little lash glue and don't get it on the lash because ugh, it's a pain to take off. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a little bit of that crease color just to soften it up a little bit, and make sure everything's flowing beautifully. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna contour, contour. Some good drugstore bronzers are going to be Physician's Formula Butter Bronzers. They smell heavenly. I have two of them. They smell so good, I just want to sniff them all day and smell. What does it smell like? It smells like coconut, kind of, like vacation. Mm, it smells like Almond Joy. Almond Joy? I also picked up this Makeup Geek bronzer, it's the Sunkissed Fair Scrim bronzer, so I think I'm going to use that because I lost, I thought I lost it and I just used it once, so I really haven't had a chance to use it enough and see if I really like it, so I think I'm going to use that today. I got this at Target. I don't know if I mentioned that. Makeup Geek is now at Target. How exciting is that? I want like a spidery lash. Like a full one. Let me do that telescopic. So now that that's done, look at this pretty highlighter. This is from Wet n Wild. I just tried this for the first time like last week. Uh, I know I'm late. I know I've been sleeping on this, but this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. My skin's really dry right now, so I don't know if highlighter is going to really adhere. I need to spray some Fix Plus. Yeah, God forbid a highlighter be so. No one wants a highlighter be so. The key is to use a really small brush, like a eyeshadow fluffy brush that you don't do what I used to do. I used to put highlighter like down to here. We should do a I react to my old video. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, just so cringe. Like I can't even. I can't. I just can't. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some blush. Where's my blush? So now I'm gonna take my Holy Grail Pixie Bloom Trio. Um, but I love a good pink blush. I'm gonna take the Morphe M510. And this pink blush, I'm just gonna really pop it on the humble object. Cause I wanna be so cute. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> the problem is I don't think I'll ever grow up. Like everyone's like act your age. Like I never wanna act my age. Like that's so boring. Why would I do that? I don't know, should I do a nude lip or a pink lip? I kind of want to play off the pink because I think pink is so cute. So for every good lip, I truly strongly, wholeheartedly believe that you need a good lip liner. Because then you can really trace out your lips and make them look super cute and luscious. Some of my favorite um, lip liners are by Gerard Cosmetics because they're super cheap and they always have sales and it's always like 40% off and 
this turns out to be like nine dollars Bel Air love Bel Air it's like one of my favorite okay that's that I'm gonna put some more lip balm because I'm gonna put liquid lipstick on top This is the world's best lip balm. It's by Hemp's Lips Pure Herbal Extracts. Sponsor me. Okay. Then I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip in the shade Soft Lilac. It's the perfect Eachella lip color. If you ask me. Oh, it looks so cute. And then if you want to lighten it up just a little bit, everybody should have this in their makeup collection. It is the Just Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sand because you can really customize your lip colors with this because it just lightens it up. Um, it's the perfect nude. Just pop it in the center. You create the perfect nude pink. You could have just left it like that, but I just wanted to show you a couple of options. This is just the Smashbox Photo Finish Centering Citrus Primer Water. It's a really nice fine mist. My favorite is the Morphe. Love the Morphe setting spray, but I ran out of it. It's like just a continuous really nice soft. Come on. Where's my fan? I'm just gonna take that. Out. Thanks, Nicola. I'm just gonna go get my scarf, and I'll be right back. Okay. So, I thought I'd do show you kind of how I've been wearing my turban lately. Gonna irritate some people. I wish I cared. <laughs> I wish I cared, but I don't. I feel like it's helping me embrace my big forehead because that's something I've always been really self-conscious about. But so I'll just show all of my forehead. Why not? Why not? So I'm just taking one of these crinkle scarves. Ah! Crinkle scarf. And this really, really pretty blue white shade. Just line it up with my underscarf, like so. Okay. And I do a little crisscross applesauce. I love applesauce. Do you like applesauce? I also don't like applesauce. And then I take my little handy dandy little comb and I fix this how I want it to. Just want it to lay nicely. And then I tie this part around my bun. pin to just keep it more secure then I take this and I fold the crinkly part in because I just like a cleaner, cleaner looking and I do it like so and I do it one more time Kind of as big as possible. And then just kind of tuck this wherever it'll go. Again, straight pin will keep it more secure. But because this fabric is so amazing, it should do the trick without you having to do too many pins. And then, a little trick I've been doing lately on my hairline because. I'm kind of bare here from like rubbing, from like, what is it? It's from my scarf partially from like, you know, pulling my hair too tight, from my head scarf rubbing up against it, from me doing this because I miss that sensation. I don't know. There's so many reasons why that's a bald spot right there. 
So, I've just designated this brush for my hair, my bald spot cover up. I don't know, have you noticed me doing this lately? Also, is shook it right now. Are you shook it? I just take my Morphe palette, a little brown color, and I just mess around. Sometimes I do black, sometimes I do brown. It's really whatever I'm feeling at the time. Just start and I go in and I work it in there. See? Did you see the transformation? I got her. I got her. But yeah, I just, I like it. It looks fuller. So I just like to put a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills because it's just a little brighter, just like right in the center. Give me, you know, an extra little. And that's how you know if your highlight's popping. Do that. Gives you satisfaction. Um, could put on some earrings. I don't really know where mine are, so I'm probably not gonna do that. Okay. So to finish the look, I'm just going to take some Huda Beauty lip gloss, because I think I want a glossy lip. And this is in Hypnotic. Ooh. Very Eachella vibes. I'm getting very Eachella vibes. So pretty. Love this lip gloss. Very Ichella, very unicorn, a very just loves it. Alright, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and staying subscribed. And if you are new, thank you for coming. Hopefully you join the delayed video inconsistent YouTube fam. <laughs> but yeah. If I don't upload another video before Eid, I hope you guys have the most amazing Eid. I hope you have throw many Eid Chella parties, because that's what we gonna do. Inshallah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Make lots of faces. Because if you don't make faces, you're not doing it right.